Only 1% of people over 50 years old know the effects that creatine can have on the body. From the age of 50, our body begins to undergo significant changes. One of them, and perhaps the most concerning for many men, is the accelerated loss of muscle mass. This loss is not just an aesthetic issue. We're talking about a natural process called sarcopenia, which can reduce your physical strength by up to 15% per decade after 50 years of age. This means that simple daily tasks such as carrying groceries, climbing stairs, or even getting out of bed can become real challenges. But what if I told you that there is a supplement, accessible and well-studied, that can be a game-changer in this process? Yes, we're talking about creatine. In this video, you will see the five greatest benefits that adults experience when starting supplementation with creatine. The saddest thing is that despite all the scientifically proven benefits, less than 1% of people in this age group regularly consume this supplement. Why? Usually because of two common myths involving creatine. Number 1. The supposed hair loss. One of the biggest fears that keep older men away from creatine is the belief that it can accelerate hair loss. But let's look at the facts. This myth arose mainly because of a single study that showed a small increase in DHT levels in rugby players after creatine supplementation. DHT is a hormone associated with male baldness. However, this study has several methodological limitations. First, it was conducted with only 20 participants, which is an extremely small sample to draw definitive conclusions. Second, the DHT increase was temporary and moderate. And third, none of the participants actually developed hair loss during the study period. Since then, dozens of more robust studies have investigated creatine supplementation, and none have established a direct link with hair loss. The International Society of Sports Nutrition reviewed more than 500 studies on creatine and concluded that there is no concrete evidence to support this association. To put it in perspective, if you have a genetic predisposition to baldness, factors such as stress, poor diet, hormonal imbalances, and aging will have a much greater impact on your hair health than creatine. Number 2. Fear that creatine is harmful to the kidneys. Another persistent myth is that creatine overloads the kidneys, especially in older people. This fear comes mainly from the confusion between creatine and creatinine, the latter being a muscle breakdown product that doctors use as a marker of kidney function. Let's clarify. Yes, creatine supplementation can slightly increase blood creatinine levels, but this doesn't mean it's damaging your kidneys. It's just a natural consequence of increased creatine in the system. It would be like saying that having more money in your bank account is overloading your bank. Long-term studies, some following people for more than five years using creatine daily, have found no negative effects on kidney function. A meta-analysis published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine reviewed 12 clinical studies and concluded that there is no evidence that creatine supplementation at recommended doses causes kidney damage in healthy individuals or even in populations with elevated risk. In fact, for people over 40 years old without pre-existing kidney disease, creatine may be one of the safest supplements available with hundreds of studies proving its safety. Only people with diagnosed kidney disease should consult a doctor before starting supplementation as a precaution. Now, let's get to the benefits of creatine after 40. Benefit number one, combat sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, as I mentioned earlier, is the progressive loss of muscle mass associated with aging. This process usually begins around the age of 30, but drastically accelerates after 50. The numbers are impressive. We can lose up to 3 to 5% of our muscle mass each decade after 30 years of age, and this rate can double after 60. The impact of this? A study from the University of Sao Paulo showed that muscle loss is the main factor associated with decreased quality of life in the elderly. It's what leads many to lose their independence, increasing the risk of falls and fractures. In practice, we're talking about the difference between being able to play with your grandchildren or depending on help to get around in the coming decades. This is where creatine stands out. It acts in two fundamental ways against sarcopenia. First, by increasing muscle protein synthesis, that is, your body's ability to build new muscle proteins. A study published in the Journal of Gerontology demonstrated that men over 55 years old supplementing with creatine had a 30% increase in protein synthesis compared to the placebo group. 
Second, creatine enhances the effects of physical exercise. When combined with resistance training, several studies show significantly greater gains in strength and muscle mass than with exercise alone. A study conducted by the University of Oklahoma followed men between 55 and 70 years old for 12 weeks of training. The group that took creatine gained on average 7 pounds of lean mass, while the placebo group gained only 3 pounds. The most interesting thing is that these effects seem to be even more pronounced in older people than in young people. This is because with age, the natural levels of creatine in the muscle decrease, making supplementation even more effective. In other words, the more you need it, the more your body responds positively to supplementation. Benefit 2. Helps with brain health. One of the most surprising benefits of creatine, especially after 40 years of age, is its protective effect on the brain. Like muscles, the brain is a major energy consumer, using approximately 20% of all the body's energy, despite representing only 2% of body weight. What many don't know is that the brain stores creatine and uses it intensively during cognitive tasks. With aging, the brain's energy efficiency decreases, which can contribute to age-related cognitive decline. It's as if the brain's fuel tank becomes less efficient over time. Recent studies are discovering the potential of creatine for brain health. For example, research published in the journal Neuroscience showed that creatine supplementation significantly improved working memory and processing speed in older vegetarian adults, a population that naturally has lower levels of creatine because they don't consume meat. Another fascinating study conducted by the University of Sydney demonstrated that creatine supplementation for six weeks improved recognition memory and reduced mental fatigue in adults over 45 years old during prolonged cognitive tasks. Researchers compared this to giving an energy boost to the brain. There is also emerging evidence that creatine may have neuroprotective properties. Studies in animal models suggest it may help protect against neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Although we still need more human studies, the preliminary results are promising. Before we continue to the third benefit, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Having constant access to correct and science-based information is what will make you age healthily. Benefit 3. Bone and Joint Health Skeletal system health is another major concern for those who are aging. From the age of 40, we begin to progressively lose bone density, and joints suffer from the natural wear and tear of use throughout life. This process can culminate in osteoporosis and osteoarthritis, painful and limiting conditions. Recently, researchers have discovered a surprising connection between creatine and bone health. A study published in the Journal of Bone and Mineral Research demonstrated that creatine can stimulate the activity of osteoblasts, the cells responsible for bone formation. Participants over 50 years old who supplemented with creatine for 12 months showed an increase of 1 to 2 percent in the bone mineral density of the lumbar spine. A notable result, considering that many lose 0.5 to 1 percent annually at this age. Additionally, creatine seems to positively influence joint health, albeit through indirect mechanisms. By strengthening the muscles around the joints, creatine helps to better distribute mechanical load reducing stress on cartilage and tendons. A study with adults between 45 and 65 years old with mild knee osteoarthritis showed, showed that creatine supplementation combined with exercises reduced joint pain by 33% compared to the group that only did exercises. Benefit 4. Reduction of fatigue and improvement of mood. Chronic fatigue and mood changes are common complaints among people over 40 years old. Many attribute this to natural aging, but the truth is that these symptoms can be mitigated with appropriate strategies, including creatine supplementation. The energetic effects of creatine go far beyond muscle performance. Our cellular energy system, based on ATP, is present in all body cells, including those of the central nervous system. When we supplement with creatine, we increase the capacity for rapid regeneration of ATP, especially in situations of metabolic stress. A fascinating study published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology investigated the impact of creatine on the mood of adults with stress-related fatigue. After eight weeks, participants who received creatine reported a 50% reduction in fatigue symptoms and a significant improvement in mental and physical vigor scores. 
The effect of creatine on mood may be related to its influence on the brain metabolism of neurotransmitters. Researchers at the University of Utah discovered that creatine can increase the production of S-adenosylmethionine, SAME, a natural compound known for its antidepressant properties. In a small pilot study, women in perimenopause with mild to moderate depressive symptoms showed significant improvement after eight weeks of creatine supplementation. Benefit 5. Metabolism Enhancement and Weight Control A common challenge after 40 years of age is the gradual increase in weight, especially in the abdominal region, even without significant changes in diet. This happens mainly due to the decrease in basal metabolic rate, which can reduce about 2-5% to per decade after 30 years of age. Creatine, traditionally associated with muscle mass gain, can actually be a surprising ally in weight control after 40. How? Through multiple metabolic mechanisms that have only recently begun to be understood. First, by preserving and increasing muscle mass, creatine helps maintain a higher basal metabolic rate. Each additional kilogram of muscle can burn between 50 to 100 extra calories per day, even at rest. A study from the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul in Brazil followed adults between 45 and 60 years old during a 12-week weight loss program. The group that received creatine significantly preserved more muscle mass and presented a basal metabolic rate 7% higher at the end of the program compared to the control group. Another fascinating aspect is the impact of creatine on the thermogenic activity of brown adipose tissue. This special type of fat responsible for burning calories to generate body heat tends to decrease with age. Researchers at the University of Alberta discovered that creatine can increase the activity of this tissue, potentially increasing daily caloric expenditure. If you like the benefits that creatine can provide and are willing to start taking it, here are the three main precautions you should take when using creatine. Number 1. Purity and Quality Matter When deciding to include creatine in your routine, a fundamental aspect to consider is the quality of the supplement. The market is full of options, and unfortunately, not all offer the same standard of purity and safety. You probably know someone who is always trying to pay as little as possible for everything they consume even if it means buying a counterfeit product of dubious quality. However, doing this with creatine can be a big mistake. The quality and purity of creatine are crucial to ensure its effectiveness and safety for the user. High quality creatine means that the product contains the specified amount of the active compound without significant impurities. Purity is important because impurities can not only decrease the effectiveness of the supplement but also pose health risks. Poor quality creatine or with inadequate purity can bring various problems. For example, impurities can cause gastrointestinal discomfort such as nausea, abdominal pain, or diarrhea. Additionally, the presence of contaminants such as heavy metals or microorganisms can pose serious health risks, including poisoning or infections. To avoid problems with low quality creatine, it is essential to purchase products from reliable and renowned manufacturers who conduct quality tests and ensure the purity of their products. Checking the brand's reputation, consulting user reviews, and preferring recognized brands in the market are good practices for choosing a safe supplement. Don't forget that it's also important to follow the usage instructions recommended by the manufacturer. Second precaution, increase the amount of water ingested. A well-documented physiological effect of creatine supplementation is intracellular water retention. In simple terms, creatine pulls water into cells, including muscle cells. This effect is beneficial for cellular functioning, but requires special attention to hydration. Studies show that creatine supplementation can increase the water retained in the body by up to 1 to 2 liters in the first weeks. This effect is more pronounced at the beginning, but continues on a smaller scale throughout the supplementation. If you don't adequately increase your water intake, this can lead to symptoms such as cramps, dehydration, and in extreme cases, overload of the urinary system. For adults over 40 years old, who already tend to have less efficient thirst mechanisms, this care is even more important. Expert recommendation is to increase water consumption by at least 16 ounces beyond what you normally drink. A practical approach is to add an extra glass of water in the morning, another in the afternoon, and a third at night. 
A good parameter is to observe the color of urine. It should remain clear or slightly yellowish, indicating adequate hydration. Another important aspect is that the extra water should not come in the form of sugary or alcoholic beverages. Alcohol in particular can decrease the effectiveness of creatine and increase stress on the kidneys and liver. Pure water, unsweetened teas, or coconut water are the best options to ensure adequate hydration during supplementation. Precaution 3. Medical evaluation to ensure safety. Before starting any supplementation, especially after 40 years of age, consulting a healthcare professional is an essential step that many neglect. Creatine, although generally safe for most people, can have specific interactions with certain medical conditions or medications. People with a history of kidney or liver problems should pay special attention. Although studies show that creatine does not harm healthy kidneys, it can potentially aggravate pre-existing conditions. Similarly, some medications for high blood pressure or diuretics can interact with creatine, altering its effectiveness or increasing side effects. A simple blood test before starting supplementation can assess kidney and liver functions, offering a baseline for future comparisons. Doing a basic checkup before starting and repeating after three to six months of supplementation helps ensure that everything is functioning properly. Remember, creatine works best when taken daily, regardless of whether you trained or not that day. This maintains constant levels in the body, maximizing the benefits beyond physical performance, such as the neuroprotective and metabolic effects discussed earlier. Now, one last extremely important warning. There are 10 other mistakes that people who take creatine often make, which can also impact health and compromise the efficiency of the supplement. If you want to know what they are, we've left a video appearing right now on your screen showing each one of them. Thank you for watching this far, and may God bless you, my friend.